All right, what's up, guys? So today, got an unboxing, a little bit of a surprise. Let's find out what we got. Sure. Yeah. Seems like sent over from Carpoy. Nice. It's a pretty cool shirt. All right. So what's in the box? Well, looks like we got a shift stop from Carpoy. And in here. This should be. Cart Boys short shift kit for the 2015 plus WRXs. All right, yeah, the weight of this right off the bat feels pretty good, so should be enough counterweight to get uh, some nice crisp short shifts out of it. Yeah, seems like good quality, like it was uh, one piece of metal. So there's that. And here's the bearing kit that it comes with. What else we got? Okay. Fireball. Atomic Fireball. <laughs> so big up to... Uh, Tom over at Carboy, he was a super cool guy. Okay, so here's the short shift up close. Um, they've added a half pound of counterweight to this to make the shifts a little better. So, feels like a good quality product, it's really stiff. And uh, yeah, excited to get this on. And then it also comes with the bearing. Um, this will insert into the linkage. And that's where we'll use this nut and bolt with the washers, and then we'll smash in the bearing. All right, guys, let's get this install started. So right off the bat, I do have to recommend glasses. I've got enough crap in my eyes to pick out, and uh, yeah, man, I just highly recommend them. So. With that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and loosen up these two bolts that are uh, holding on the bracket for the shifter linkage. These are 12 millimeter bolts, so just got to crack those loose with a wrench. Alright, we're loose. little trick with the, the linkage cabling is to go ahead and remove this bracket that's actually uh, screwed on to the transmission itself. Once you get this off, you just have a lot more wiggle room to get the end of the linkage off. Uh, these are two 12 millimeter bolts again. There's uh, one right here below the linkage and then above the linkage. So we just need to crack these loose. All right, so we've got a lot of slack here on the linkage, and we just need to remove the cotter pin. We've already got the uh, linkage bracket in the front loosened, and we got to get the cotter pin off. All right, this slides off real easy like that. Right now I've got the pairing brass bushing on here, so I will be replacing that with the cart boy bearing. Uh, 
And now, just like that, it slides off so easy. Once we've got the linkage removed, we need to remove this housing for the OEM shift plate. Um, there are three 12 millimeter bolts, one down here, one further up on the back, and then one back in here. Uh, you can get to these bolts through this hole right here, but it's sharp and I'd recommend dropping down the heat shield. So what we'll do is we'll remove the four 12 millimeter bolts. There are two here and there are two at the back. These bolts have a tapered end, so there's four of them, and this tapered end will set apart the other 12 millimeter bolts. So that we know these are for the heat shield. Correct. Okay, we'll remove this 12 millimeter bolt from the shield. Maybe. All right, so I'm gonna crack loose this second bolt. We are using the swivel for this one, so make sure we hold it firmly and then try to get this last bolt cracked. We've got this bracket loosened up. Um, I'm not even going to remove it, just as long as we've got enough room in here to get the OEM shift plate out I think will be good enough all right here's the parent so this has been on here for probably 25,000 miles still in pretty good shape the brass all right, we'll move this linkage out of our way Give us plenty of room. Just kind of put it up here somewhere. Okay, we are at the hardest part of the install, so we will have to beat out this pin. We've got our 3 16 punch we picked up. And in addition to that, since we are on the ground, it is a lot easier to use this palm nailer. Um, this makes the job a lot faster once you get the right angle with the pin and the pin punch. Uh, we'll just put this on the back and this will do the hammering for us. Uh, now if you don't have an air gun, they do make an electric version of nail palmers. So you'll have to pick that up somewhere. Um, or you'll have the super tedious job of using a mallet or a hammer. <laughs> Alright, so with that said, to get a better angle on this pin with the nailer right in here, um, we found it a lot easier to go ahead and push up the OEM plate. I was able to do two clicks and you can feel it. So we'll be able to Go in from the front. Yeah, I don't know.
I think we got it. So right onto his shirt. <laughs> and there's the pin. Make sure your punch isn't really mushroomed at the end. We were having a lot of trouble with the first punch we used because um, it was mushroomed at the end. This is still a brand new one that we used and we were able to punch into the pin right away and get it moving. So Here's for comparison. The old punch and then the new punch. So if you start this project, you're probably better off with going with a new punch. Okay. So here's the OEM shift plate. You're gonna get this pin started into the short throw shift. It'd be a little easier to do it on the vise. All right. All right, so now we get to put the Kurt Boy short shift on. Slides right in. There we go. Now we just have to punch the pin in the rest of the way. Got this pin punched into the short throw shifter, but this uh, pin coming off the transmission, we'll make, have to make sure we actually line up the cart boy short shifter with that when we're punching it in so we can get back into that original hole. I'm gonna press the bearing into the linkage. So we'll use one of the washers and the bolt that were given to us in the kit on one side while having the bearing inserted. And then we'll use the other washer and the nut on the other side. Okay. So now this nut and the bolt are both 13 millimeter. We'll just tighten those down until we get the bearing pressed into the linkage. So we'll put the OEM washer back on the end. Now we're on the home stretch. Yeah. As long as we get this cotter pin in. Now we're hooking everything back in. And there it is with the washer and the pin. All right, guys. So right here I have the factory OEM short shift. Um, the Cart Boy short shift is compatible with the. OEM short shift and the regular OEM shifter. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to row through the gears and we'll do comparison videos of this OEM short shift versus the cart boy. And again, the cart boy should give us 38% less travel. So 
rowing in the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Into reverse. Back to neutral. Okay guys, so here's the maiden shift after the short shifter install. Uh, first time, I, all that wiggle room is gone. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So here we go. First, second, oh, that's third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reverse. Back into neutral. All right, so here's a aerial or rear view with the new cart boy short shift added. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reverse. Back into neutral. First, second, uh, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and reverse. Okay guys, here are the tools that you'll be using, or some of them are optional, but recommended by Ryan and I. Uh, we use these for the install of the uh, short shift plate. So we've got a pry bar right here. We use that to get the OEM shift plate off. Right here, we've got a 3 16 punch. Uh, this one has been worn and it's mushroomed at the end, so we were not actually able to get the pin out with this one. And we had to pick up a brand new one. Um, just a couple of taps with the palm nailer of this one, and the pin started on its way out. So, this is optional, but it's highly recommended. Um, to use a uh, palm nailer. It's gonna save you a lot of time. If you're not gonna use this, good luck, <laughs> especially if you're on jack stands, but you will have to use a hammer and you'll have to use that with the punch. Uh, next up, we just use a small extension for some of the bolts, 12 millimeter bolts, uh, ratchet necessary, an extended ratchet with the swivel on the end of it was needed for the one bolt a 13 millimeter crescent wrench that we use to help compress the bearing into the linkage. Uh, we use that along with one of the 13 millimeter sockets right here and the ratchet. Uh, we use this 12 millimeter crescent wrench on some of the 12 millimeter bolts. This is a nicer one uh, that gives us uh, an action like a normal uh, wrench. We used uh, needle nose pliers here to get the pin, the pin out. Uh, some of these, this is uh, just a little flip out tool for the socket wrench, for the sockets. Um, that's optional, you don't have to use that. And this is an air gun to blow out some of the, the debris so it doesn't get in your eyes. That's also optional. And we also used the creeper. Creeper was a big help since we were on our back and we had to move around. Uh, so some of the reasons I picked uh, the Carpoy shift, uh, short shift over some other companies out there is because I had the opportunity to test it out in Ryan's car. Uh, he's got it installed in there. And I was able to feel it firsthand for myself before actually picking up the kit. So. He's going to share some of the experiences he's had with it so far. So before the uh, Carpoy, I had just the OEM short throw, and then I added on the, uh, the Carpoy short throw. It uh, made the car uh, feel a lot more responsive, and it had like a notchy feeling between each gear. It also drastically reduced each throw, so uh, it does take some time to get used to that. Uh, it took me at least a couple of days before I felt like I was comfortable uh, going through the gears very quickly. Um, and I also do recommend a really heavy shift knob. This is one from Anarchy Motive. 
it's the Atlas and it has like, it's like 500 grams and it makes that uh, each shift feel really, really smooth uh, compared to like the OEM shift knob where it's a lot lighter. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Ryan and I will both uh, look after that and you know answer any, any questions that you have about it. And if we can help you out, we'll do that. So thanks a lot, guys. Uh, we do appreciate the comments and when the subs. It lets us know that you like what we're doing and you know we can continue to do it. So thanks a lot, guys, and we'll see you on the next video.